have you had any information about the education activities going on before you fall in Turkey? I knew a little bit from people who'd gone to Turkey before. Mm -hmm. So I knew that, that the schools were very impressive to see that there was a lot of support from local people for them. But until you go, I don't think you appreciate. Mm -hmm. There were classes we went to, I think it was in Istanbul, we went to a first grade class just learning the alphabet. And it was, they looked like they were having a wonderful time. And I told the principal there, I'm ready to join his school. <laughs> so he said, send his, my parents over and he'll see if I can sign up. Because it looked like fun. Mm -hmm. And I think mean, education so often isn't fun. Mm -hmm. And so I thought what I saw, the, the curriculum, the buildings, the teachers, it looked like people enjoyed what they were doing, were dedicated. Mm -hmm. And I certainly think that's a wonderful thing for any culture to have, is an education system that is both fun and providing a good education. Mm -hmm. So you think... So I liked what I saw. And I think most of us there were very impressed by that. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they were so well? Well, part of it is there's a lot of support from the community. I think mm -hmm. that's part of it. Um, I'm sure that people who are inspired both by Islam and interfaith dialogue, that also helps. They've got mm -hmm. a reason for doing this. Mm -hmm. And perhaps many of us are realizing we're a world community. We have to find ways mm -hmm. to do better than we're doing and not just be insular or with our own culture. We need to start thinking about global education and about bringing mm -hmm. people together. Do you think these education activities initiated and encouraged by Gulen uh, can play an important role in building peace in the world? Sure. I almost... <laughs> it's, such a, it's so obvious I don't know what else to say. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I think, any I think any curriculum that not only teaches students science and math and other skills, but also gets them to recognize their role in a global society is good. Mm -hmm. And certainly the Gulen schools are doing this, and I think any school that is, this is the future. We've mm -hmm. got to start teaching people to be world citizens, not mm -hmm. just Turkish citizens, not just American mm -hmm. citizens. We are, and I will even quote Aristotle, who once said, I am not a citizen of Athens or of Greece. I am a world citizen. Mm -hmm. And I think that was ahead of its time. But today, we are world citizens. Mm -hmm. And we are facing world problems that can only be solved with a global outlook. And certainly, I think the schools in Turkey we saw seem to be addressing that issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so conflicts going on today in the world. Conflicts among cultures or among religions. And how much time do we have? Again? <laughs> <laughs> Part of it, I think, is provincialism, not seeing beyond your own culture or your own city or your own nation. Part of it, I guess if I would use an analogy, I think the world is at late adolescence. And most of us who were teenagers, if you would have tried to predict our life based on our teenage years, you would have thought we'd all be in jail by 30 mm -hmm. if we survived. And if the human race is there, we are close to maturing, but we're not yet there. I think we, we are not yet a mature people. And mm -hmm. so we're greedy, we're selfish, we're, we have very low vision, we don't see beyond mm -hmm. our own little space. And I think countries are no better than people with this. I think many countries cannot see beyond their own interests mm -hmm. and to realize that their interests might be served if there was a global culture mm -hmm. that we wouldn't be spending having to spend so much money on military and other things. There's hope in the world religions, but the world religions often can be prejudiced with each other mm -hmm. and can cause some of these problems. And I think any effort to bring religious communities together is something that we need to do. And as I've said before, I think without the religions um, 
communicating together. I really don't see how we're going to solve environmental issues, security issues, poverty. Um, it didn't really affect my views about Islam because I understand that people who claim to be doing something in the name of Islam and yet do something like that aren't really Muslims. They may claim to be Muslims, mm -hmm. but I'm certainly aware in the Quran and the Hadith that these kind of activities are not what Muslims do. Mm -hmm. um, when I talk to my students about this, I point out that Timothy McVeigh, the person who blew up our federal building right here in Oklahoma City, claimed to be a Christian. But where in the Gospels does it say that you are supposed to take others' lives for some political mm -hmm. uh, movement or misunderstanding? And I don't see any difference. Mm -hmm. So my views of Islam didn't change. I think my views about political issues and international relations perhaps change. And I think, how to say it, a good number of Americans recognize that, for instance, what we're doing in the world right now, whether it's Iraq or some of our policies, often cause people mm -hmm. to protest against what we're doing. And while I don't condone what happened in 9-11, I understand the feelings behind it. There are feelings in the world that America is the latest bully on the block, so to speak. Have you read about uh, Bilal's press release just after? I'm not that familiar with it, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming. Well, it's tell me. Exactly he he says similar things. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I think in every religion, there are obviously saints and holy men and women. There are sinners and hypocrites. And then there's the rest of us in the middle trying to lead our lives as best we can. And I don't think you can judge a religion by a few people who have very radical views about their own faith. I think you judge the religion on its culture that it's built, its poetry, its art, its writings, and you judge it on the character of the people you meet, like we met in Turkey. You don't judge it mm -hmm. on the basis of some people that have more of a political agenda, like I think most of the people that flew those planes into the buildings had. Mm -hmm. And I really think that's what was happening. It was a political statement they were making, not an Islamic statement. Mm -hmm. What is the importance of dialogue attempts initiated by Duran in terms of humanity and universal peace? Well, again, I don't think until we learn to talk to each other you can even start a process of solving the problems that face the world community. And so that's always the first stage. One has to talk, and more importantly, one has to listen to other people. And I don't think that's happening a lot in the world. We see people mostly shouting at each other, or killing each other, or going to war with each other. What does this solve, but what does this do but cause more injustice, more hatred, more divisions? What we need is a coming together. And I don't even think it's as important to talk about shared beliefs or differences in beliefs, what we ought to be talking about. And I'm pretty sure from what I've read of Gulen as well as other scholars, not that we talk so much about beliefs, mm -hmm. but we talk about how to build a better world. And I think when I see all of the schools in, mm -hmm. the, in Turkey that are inspired by this movement, that gives me hope. We all want our children to have good education. We all want our countries to prosper. We all want our, our future to be good and not miserable. And I think we do that by coming together despite our differences and we build schools and we find ways to help the poor, we find ways to clean up our neighborhoods if they're polluted, mm -hmm. we find ways to help people, whether it's in the earthquakes in Pakistan or the hurricanes in our country, we find ways to help. We can all agree, I think in all of our religious traditions, that it's right for us to help others.
Mm -hmm. And to me, that's what we ought to be talking about.